Hello. In a previous video, I've done a beam analysis of a, a beam under a distributed load, as you can see here. So I did it with beam elements. And a student task from this book that I have over here, this book, is that you have to do a similar analysis, but then with solid elements. And it's a, a cylindrical solid part that you have to use then. So in this video, I'm going to show how to apply the restraints to y achieve that. So I'm going to create a new part. and then draw two circles to get a cylindrical beam like this okay then create an extrude so in this case it will be a solid element i've also done a video with shell elements that's with uh, chapter 17 this is with chapter 18 and in the video with shell elements i show that you have to uh, that you have to apply a split line and that's what I have to do in this video as well, so in, in this case with solid elements. So I'm going to do that with insert curve split line. I'll split these three surfaces over here with the top surface, this one top plane. And this surface I have to split as well. And now I can apply my restraints on these split lines. So I'm going to save this file. I'll call it a solid cylinder. I've already created one previously, so do it again. Yeah. And then create a new simulation study. And then apply a fixture. Now fix, for example, this point. And as I've shown in the previous video as well, if you do that for a solid element, which I'm going to use in this case, then it is still allowed to rotate. And that's what you want. So that's, a, in this case, a good thing. So if you don't want rotation, you have to apply your restraint to a whole surface and not to a point. And now for the rest, I'm going to use uh, advanced advanced restraints and then I'll use the reference geometry. So this line and this line I want to restrain in, for example, this direction. I want to have this face as a reference and then I can have a look at the arrows to see if I want a surface or in this case a line to move in that direction. So this direction should be possible so I'll switch that button off this one and this one I don't want the part to move which will stop this part from rotating around the Z axis and also around the X axis but it can still rotate around the Y axis and I'm, that's what I'm gonna stop by applying restraints on the end of the part so here I'm gonna apply similar restraints again so on these lines I'm going to again use reference geometry. So I don't want them to move, for example, perpendicular to the top plane. So I could have also taken this plane as a reference and then it would be a different arrow that I would have to select over here. But the point is just look very well at the green arrow so you can see in which uh, direction a part cannot move, or in this case just a line. So now I've uh, imitated the, the restraints from the beam analysis. I can then just uh, apply material which is already done because I had already applied it in SOLIDWORKS then I can apply loads for example a force on this surface and this surface and then in the selected direction perpendicular to the su top surface and I'm gonna apply 200 Newton it's a low force for this beam and then I wanna reverse the direction with the option I have over here and here I can choose total so if I use per item, it will be uh, 400 newtons, and in this case, it will be 200 newtons in total. Okay, so then I'll run the simulation. It's always good to check your results. If you choose run, SolidWorks will is first mesh it and then run it. And now I can see the part is still allowed to rotate, so this is a good imitation of uh, the results that you would get from a beam analysis you can look at the displacements as well which will be uh, low they are exaggerated as you can see over here the deformation scale is uh, 47,000 if you don't want that SOLIDWORKS will uh, per default always exaggerate what's happening and you can switch that off by using here true scale so then you see what's really going on and then you hardly see any deformation so that's why SOLIDWORKS exaggerates the results so that's how you apply the restraints to solid elements. Thanks for watching.